Johnny Nepe Apatu has just returned home after eight years in Australia, and he doesn't like what he sees. So the Central Hawke's Bay local is standing for the high-profile role of Chairman of Ngāti Kahanunu Iwi Incorporated. Although there's been a lot of good things that's happened in the past 24 years, there are quite a few things that are really, really important to me that haven't happened. Apatu says water quality is a major issue with an urgent discussion needed. Water quantity is a problem as well. I'm really going to push our hapu and our iwi to start getting out there and let, getting heard. By asking the farmers to diversify, number one, to diversify, and number two, the council need to take action right now, not later, because in the, in the aquifer, the main aquifer, in the old days, it used to fall as it was being used. Now it's just reducing. So there ain't going to be too many years where the water is just going to empty. My, my plea is to the, to the council, start doing something now. Don't wait for it to happen and then, like it is over in Australia. The reason why I'm passionate about the why is because it reminds me of the state of our iwi at present. Homelessness, uh, no jobs, not working, idle, sick. And we're getting sick like worse than ever before. And there's not too much research into why we're getting sick and that's the reason. I've just seen someone that got a consent from the council couldn't use it all, so he's selling it to someone else. Put that back in, so that we've still got capacity. There's a lot out there that don't need to take the water, but they're taking it. Farmers know now there's a product out there that can help them, and you know, that's hemp. Hemp is what's been happening here. You know, if you, hemp doesn't need as much water, you know, 150,000 litres a day is not on. Not on in terms of my eyes. Apatu says the issues of homelessness and lack of trade training could be addressed through the purchase of just one property, Puki Ora Estate, close to Waipukuro. I've got a great grandson and he's the reason that pulled me back and um, I want to see him reach his potential. Just at present there are a lot of young kids that aren't reaching their potential and there's a lot of young kids that are dying and there's a lot of suicides. I aim to try and figure out a way how to stop that. This project that I've got on, on hand um, up at Pukeora would be one of the, one of the cures. Patrick O'Sullivan, Local Focus.